Hello friends, in this video we are going to see about lens and forms of lens. First of all we are going to see what is a lens. Lens is a transparent medium. So what does mean by transparent medium? A medium which allows the light rays to pass through it is termed as transparent medium. So lens allows the light rays to pass through it so that it is termed as transparent medium. So lens is a transparent medium that allows refraction. Refraction means bending of light rays in which any one of the surface is curved. Because refraction only occurs in curved surface. It does not occur in plane surface. That's why in lens any one of the surface should be curved. So by the refraction the light rays enters through the lens. Next types of lens. There are three types of lens. Spherical lens, cylindrical lens and the spiro cylinder lens. Next is spherical lens. In spherical lens, the power is same in all meridian. So due to this, there is no distortion. Distortion means objects look like as wavy or somewhat bent. Due to the even distribution of power in the lens, there is no distortion in spherical lens. This is the example for spherical lens. This meridian and this meridian is referred to as principal meridian. This example has plus 1.50 diopter spherical. So in this example both meridian has the same power. Next is cylindrical lens. In cylindrical lens the power is present only in one meridian. So due to the absence of power in one meridian distortion may occur. Because one meridian is in plano condition and other meridian has the total power. So the refraction completely occurs in one meridian. Due to this there may be distortion occur. Look at the example of cylindrical lens. So in this example the lens has plus 1.50 diopter cylindrical power. In one meridian it is in plano condition. Plano means absence of power. So the power is completely on the other meridian. Next is spiro cylinder lens. So in this type of lens it has both spherical and cylindrical power. Look at the example for spiro cylinder lens. In this lens plus 2 diopter spherical power and plus 1 diopter cylinder power is present. So the spherical power is present in both the meridian but the cylinder power is present in only in one meridian. So this lens have both spherical and cylinder power. That's why it is referred to as spiro cylinder lens. Now we are going to see what is forms of lens. In a lens, the total power is obtained by combining different types of lens surface. That means it ha the lens has variety of forms. So this is termed as forms of lens. Next to flat lens and curved lens. In flat lens, the one side is plane and the other surface is curved. And in curved lens, the two surface of the lens is curved. Next convex lens. So the convex lens is base to base prism. So look at the image of the convex lens. If we cut the convex lens means we have two prism. By joining the two prisms base we got a convex lens. That's why it is called base to base prism. And when the light rays enter through the convex lens it converge. So it is called converging lens. And look at the image of the convex lens. It is thicker at the center and thinner at the edge. And we have a magnified image in the convex lens. Convex lens also known as plus lens. Converging light rays in the convex lens is shown here. Next concave lens. Concave lens are otherwise known as diverging lens or minus lens. Because when the light rays enters through the concave lens it diverges the light rays. And it is termed as apex to apex prism. If we cut the concave lens means we have two prism. By joining the apex and apex of these prism we got a concave lens. That's why it is referred to as apex to apex prism. And look at the image of concave lens. It is thinner at the center and thicker at the edge. We have a minified image in concave lens. Diverging light rays occur in concave lens is shown here. In convex lens. Different forms of lenses are available like a plano convex, biconvex, equiconvex, meniscus and periscopic lenses. In concave lens, different forms of lenses are available like a plano concave, biconcave, equiconcave, meniscus and periscopic lenses. Next to plano convex and plano concave lens. In plano convex lens, one surface is flat that means it doesn't have any curvature and also it doesn't have any power. That's why it is termed as plano. Next other surface is convex in type. 
So in plano convex lens, one surface is plane and the other surface have convex surface. Next to plano concave lens, in this type one surface is flat that means it doesn't have any curvature and also it doesn't have any power and the other surface is concave that's why it is termed as plano concave lens. Look at the image for plano convex and plano concave lens. In plano concave lens, one surface is plane and the other surface is concave. And in plano convex lens, one surface is plane and the other surface has convex type. Next, biconvex and biconcave lens. Bi means two. In biconvex type, both the surface are convex nature with unequal power. Unequal power means one surface have two diopter power means another surface have three diopter power. This is referred to as biconvex lens. And the biconcave lens means both the surface are concave in nature and with unequal power. If one surface have minus two diopter means another surface have minus three diopter. So in this types both surface have same nature either in convex type or in concave type but the power varies. This is the example for biconcave lens and biconvex lens. So look at the images. Both the surface are same. Next, equiconvex and equiconcave lens. Equi means equal. So in equiconvex lens, both the surface are convex in nature and also with equal power. Both have the equal power. In equiconcave lens, both the surface are concave in nature with the equal power. Look at the example for equiconcave and equiconvex lens. In equiconcave lens, both the surface are in concave nature and also the power same, minus 3 diopter. And equiconvex lens, both the surface have convex nature and the power distribution is also same. Next, meniscus lens. The term meniscus means curved. So, meniscus lens are curved in nature. And in this type of lenses, base curve is present. In a lens, the total power is equal to the sum of its front surface and back surface power. In meniscus lens, the base curve is present in default. We have both convex meniscus as well as the concave meniscus lens. Look at the example for concave meniscus and the convex meniscus lens. So first we take the concave meniscus example. If we need minus 3 diopter power lens means we already have a lens with a base curve plus 6 diopter. We need to generate minus 9 diopter into that lens. So that finally we have minus 3 diopter power. Next to look at the convex meniscus lens. So if we need plus 3 diopter power means. We already have a lens with base curve minus 6 diopter. We need to generate plus 9 diopter power into that lens. At final we have a plus 3 diopter. So in this two example, the total power is obtained by adding front surface power and the back surface power. Meniscus lens are usually curved in nature. So it is uh, fitted into the curved type of frames. Next, periscopic lens. Uh, it was used in previous times. So this lens is not used in these days. It is similar to that of a meniscus lens. The only difference is base curve. Base curve is flatter in periscopic lens. And next we are going to see the what is the need of forms of lens. The types of plano, equi and bi. These are fitted into the flatter frames due to its uh, flat nature. But meniscopic lens are fit into the uh, curved type of frames due to its uh, curved nature. Due to the different types of frames we need to have different forms of lens. And in case of high power, if we generate the same power in one surface means it leads to distortion and also it leads to the thick lens. For example, if we take plus 8 diopter lens means uh, we can't take the plano convex lens because it leads to distortion as well as uh, we have a thick lens in this type of cases. So in this type we can use biconvex or equiconvex type lenses. Same for minus 8 diopter power. Instead of taking plano concave lens, we can use a equiconcave or biconcave lens. Because using of these types of lenses, we can avoid distortion as well as it is user friendly. And meniscus lenses can be used in sunglasses due to its uh, curvature. Like, share, comment for this video and for regular optometry updates, subscribe learning optometry Tamil and English channel.